Hi guys, Cranky Kaz here. I'm the Showster. And we're back with Life is Strange Before the Storm. Uh, we're just about to go to school with David. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think we got a text from Steph, didn't we? We did, yes. Um, now, I don't remember a Steph in Life is Strange. Neither do I, actually. So, there we go. Um, Steph. Who's Steph? I don't recognise her. I, I have, have a, a DVD. DVD. Okay. Right. Fine. Let's have a look and see. Steph, Steph Gingrich, Gingrich. Whoever you are. Is this Chloe? Okay, so she doesn't actually. Right, okay, so yeah. we don't really know so about that. That's all the today by the looks of it, so. Cool, okay, okay that's fine. Um, yeah, fine, so. Let's go to school. This is going to be a fun journey, isn't it? It's going to be awful. I'm, I'm going to call essentially a back chat. Mom thing said coming David up now. is driving me to school. If this is a nightmare, now would be a great time to wake up. Right. Scream it. <laughs> right, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, come on then. Yeah, I think you're right. We're going to have some back chat. Yeah, we're going to have some back chat. Anyway. General teenage attitude, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, there there's he a is. raven there. What a piece of crap. The car, too. <laughs> wow, she really hates him. Yeah, she really does, doesn't she? Why do you women always take forever to get ready? Oh, shut up. No, 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 that doesn't help. Will leave without us. Plays well. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Yeah, don't mansplain to me. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Okay, then. What is this? Can I just go Quality and time? take that bike and Ugh. go to school that Better way? Better just get the socket wrench and get this. No. School's hardly worth walking to. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> go in the right direction, Claire. Yeah, fine. <laughs> All um... right. I was going to see if I could bike it to school, but okay. So this is a muscle car, apparently. Tiniest penis in all of our kitty bags. <laughs> it's oh, compensating there this go. car. Yeah. I wonder if there's any... Okay. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? Well, as we know, he does move in, so... Uh... Mm. Oh, photos. Box of dad stuff. Oh, dear. Uh oh, mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Oh dear. David's lawnmower. Maybe mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Are you going straight there? Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. <laughs> Fire, Fire extinguisher and a stereo. stereo. Can we turn that on? No, just look. Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. I wonder if that's the uh, stereo that actually is in her room Must be. later on. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Wow, wow. she really yeah. is not a fan, is she? No, she really isn't. Uh, camera. camera, okay. Oh, that's um. William's. Old camera. Yeah. Do they even make film for these anymore? That's the one that she gives to Max, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So... Cool. Okay, so in the toolbox then. I'm guessing that's what we want. Yep. 50 50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60 40. Maybe 90 10. <sighs> Teenage attitude, eh? I can understand why, but still. <laughs> Speak or socket wrench. What are we going to do? Whack him in the face with the socket wrench? Or we're um, actually going to hand it over? I'm not entirely sure how to interpret it. We'll find that. out. Let's choose it. <laughs> Here it is. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Oh, dear. Come on. 
<laughs> there wasn't. It was that was ambiguous, wasn't it? it what was. were we gonna do? See what's gunking up the works there. That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. See, that didn't seem so much of him being a a douche. Well, we know he's not a douche. Yeah. It's just It's just Chloe's perception of mm. him as a douche. Mm-hmm. And obviously, he comes across the wrong way sometimes as well. Yeah. In the, in he the does first care, game, and he's just... very overbearing. Are we going to accept the fist bump or leave him hanging? Leave him hanging. Because I would want to accept the fist bump right, to try accept, and get try, fine, to try and get her to change, but fine, accept it. I'll just leave, well, I'll just leave him hanging. There. We're leaving him hanging at the moment, just before. We're <laughs> just like, fist bump me, damn it! <laughs> fist bump him, fine, whatever. If it makes him happy, fine, whatever. She's so still doing it with a bit of attitude, but so I guess anything nice she's going to have attitude with anyway. So. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. He sounds different at the moment <sighs> compared to what we, we had in the first one, game. But thanks. He's just replaced William's toolbox with his bigger yeah. toolbox. Um, I was just reading something about the original... So, Ashley Birch, who did Chloe's voice in, in Life is Strange. Yep. It's not Ashley Birch Ready in... To roll. In this. In this, because there was a voice actor strike. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Respect has to be earned. Enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Shut this down. Are we actually going to shut this down? Fuck yeah. Respect has to be earned, David. Uh, okay. Respect him. I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young, young lady. lady. Language? Uh, military language? Yeah, that's what Here. I was thinking. Let me put that in a language you'll understand. I'll let you Fox pick. Trot. Uniform. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a smart I'll let you pick. Intro. I won't interfere. Let me dumb it down. <laughs> let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than That's dumb? Again. Hey, watch your. <laughs> I can crap bigger than you. Got it? Excuse me. Thought I smelled crap. <laughs> oh, that's what I smell. <laughs> crap. You, your mother. You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is. <gasps> What's it called? You've got one porn stash and zero game. Damn! <laughs> you got sass! <laughs> I didn't enlist. I don't remember enlisting. So don't treat me like you're well not recruit. <laughs> if you were a man, I'd... It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you. I'd... Wow. Ooh. Wow. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. Nicely done. I get the feeling if you'd had one misstep, it looked like he only yeah. needed to get one win there. And then he'd lose. And you'd have lost the argument. So I think yeah. you did quite well there. Yeah. It doesn't give you much time to sort of analyse really and say which is the best one, because obviously the first time it's like, you need to do it this way, you need to do it this way. Your sass was on form, darling. Fist bump. Boom! <laughs> Oh, you're back oh. in the past. Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning the midnight hole again. So, what are you saying about the voice actors? What a so, beautiful day. In um, her case, it's someone different. So yeah, there was a voice actor strike or something that meant Ashley Birch didn't I voice know it. What spark plug does. Well, I didn't notice any difference, to be honest. But that's if you listen, you can tell it's not her. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it affected any of the other voice actors, mm -hmm. whether they didn't. This. Well, David was the one I um, right. thought sounded different, to be honest. 
It might well be another voice yeah. actor. Mm, okay. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. <clears throat> Dad, turn it up. So wait, there's a picture of David, but William's in the car. Yeah, this is a bit... So it's a weird... I mean, she's dreaming and then somehow I think David is playing the same music, that's my guess. Oh no. Shit. Oh dear. We needed to be watching that, not talking shit about voice actors while that was going mm -hmm. on. <laughs> Need to pay attention. Oh wow. Okay. So that's what happened to him then? Yeah, he got sideswiped by a... By a train. A, a truck. It's a lorry. He was on the road, wasn't he? That sounded like it was a train horn thing, but maybe it was a lorry. It was a lorry, I think. A sideswiped by something. Why would he be sideswiped by a train? It was a level crossing thing. No, I don't think so. I think it was a lorry. Hey. Yeah. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're going to be late. Bye, then. So this is before she's uh, suspended. Do we say thanks or whatever? Whatever. I meant whatever, whatever. decision, actually, but... You're welcome. <laughs> just a, I would have gone with thanks, but... So it's the one who's been trying to give, give him the attitude all Maybe you're right. Time. Maybe we need to be a bit nicer. I don't know. Hello, Black Hell. Ah. Well, this he could use the same, like, stuff from the original game, right? Just put it in this one, right? Change a few things around. Good luck, seniors. What, is it exam time or... Maybe. Or something else? Jeremiah Blackwell. Is that the guy who founded it then? Oh, it must be. Oh, it's Elliot. Hey, Chloe. Whatever his oh. name is. Hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Uh, How honest do you want to be? Because <laughs> that's basically like no or maybe no. <laughs> that's how it comes across uh, to me. I don't. Uh, oh, I dear. don't really want to go with him, but maybe we shouldn't be too blunt. Just be maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to, but sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right. That's totally what I was thinking. Really? All right. See you in cam. Yeah, for sure. I sort of, I don't know, I see Chloe as with Rachel. I think yeah. probably because we've played the first. Like, yeah, you know, well. Got to track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. <laughs> That's one way to have the objective. She's written it in our hand. Perfect, okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Meh. Well, at least not for now. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Yeah, she's really gone off the rails, hasn't she, at this point? Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. Alright. Is that Victoria? It uh, is! Yes, it is. Picnic tables with Mikey. I don't know where Mikey is. Alright. Okay, cool. Should we go talk to Victoria first? And is that Warren in the background? Oh no, it's a girl. <laughs> oh well. Let's talk to as many uh, people. Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. So are we gonna talk to her? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Carrie Price. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. Yay. 
You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Hmm. Vortex Club Rachel Amber or Young Artist Award. I'm inclined to go with Rachel for some mm, reason. Same. Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what? <laughs> or we say we murdered a man. <laughs> I think I might just say tell what. Yeah. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook. I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. No, I don't. Oh, why does everybody Victoria loves care? Her? Little Miss Perfect. Because she's jealous, probably. So you're jealous of <laughs> Rachel. There you go. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh, that doesn't even sound like. We just sabotage our homework or walk away. <laughs> is it worth it? Walk mm -hmm. away. Yeah, it's not worth it, is it? Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? It's Chloe. <sighs> oh dear, really? You didn't walk in that annoying way in the first game, did you? Um, I don't. I don't think that's Victoria's original voice actor either. It probably isn't. Picnic Someone tables. over by the. Uh... Yeah, so there's picnic tables. Oh, that's probably Steph who we need to go to. The Let's have a little left. wander around and see who we can find. Talk to this dude? Yeah. That's Evan, isn't it? It is. Well remembered. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up. Speak with Evan. I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Would Good you? morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Okay, dude. Why are you doing this? Later. <laughs> like... nah. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? Again, another question about Rachel She's Amber. so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? Mm. I guess. Later. Later. <laughs> don't, I don't subscribe I to Wildfire Rules. Awesome. One last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. I <laughs> think to get out of class here, fair enough. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? <laughs> I... No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting How for that. Seriously, no. am I taking this right now? <laughs> <laughs> Master Erectus. Um, <laughs> no, Master put, Erectus. Put Chloe. Yeah, be serious. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow. Principal Dix. <laughs> Big McHugh balls and Chloe Price. <laughs> so actually, serious. Wow. What? Caring about important issues. Caring in general. Alright. Hope to get that DVD. If you think we're done here. Well, unless you want me to walk all the way over there. Okay, let's go for it then. Because I expect it to tell me, no, don't go that way if I uh, okay. went that way. So. Steph and Mikey! Are they playing? Oh. What are they playing? D&D. D&D &D or something. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North. Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. Okay. Hey, sir. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. He wouldn't understand. Sir. You say, try me or I used to play. 
Try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Now that is a creature I wouldn't want to fight. Mm -hmm. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Oh, sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Hi. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Why are you all asking Rachel about Rachel? Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just, like, a friend thing? What's it to you? Hmm, yeah. Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Okay, so everybody fancies her. Yeah. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah. I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Sure, why not? Yeah, Can't do resist it. Why a not? tabletop game. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. Okay. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> why is that funny? <laughs> I'm totally an elf barbarian. <laughs> what do you think I should go with that? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. <laughs> I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land, now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Mm -hmm. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. <laughs> As you Love enter it. the final Plenty camp, bloody and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Introduce your character. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Calamastia. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his <laughs> eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron. Durgaron. <laughs> in the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once made a man kipper. Definitely that. <laughs> I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> that, um... You stand at the gateway crossing. <laughs> to your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron. 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 Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Dur dude. We don't Elamon need to prepare frowns. first. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground. And surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Uh, I'd say the, level uh, up. First. I'd say level up. Yeah, the training ground. Training ground. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Oh, we should have freed the prisoners though. Maybe. Sweet. Yeah, maybe we'll get chops to us. At the training ground, you are spotted by a Shit. heavy set. Oh, marvelous! Who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field. All of whom raise their weapons um, and charge. Should we oh. free okay. the prisoners first? So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet <sighs> and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Nice. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. Just make yourself yours. comfortable, Cap. Fatal cleave! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. <coughs> Fatal cleave! You swing your great axe down with <gasps> both hands. 
The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Well, that sounds like it was successful. I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now... Ah, oh, well done. Nice one. It's unlikely any loot survived. Good, good job. You'll pay for this or we all make mistakes. I think she's going to give some sats with all... We all make some... We all make mistakes. I don't know why. Yeah. Do Don't worry, Alamon guy. <laughs> we all make mistakes. This is fab. Elamon. No, it's hmm? Calamastia, the elf barbarian. <laughs> Most wise and forgiving. And forgiving. <laughs> What's next? Uh, the prison. Prison camp. Yeah. And then they can take time on the, uh... to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field so of that standing that iron around. cages, hmm. each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks oh, himself great. in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Yeah, probably. Uh, okay. Hey, shit face! <laughs> Get out of there! <laughs> the dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't. Probably fun. not. But Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Hmm. Ooh, back chat challenge. Pick the lock or tempt with bread. <laughs> what do we want to do? In I back don't chat? think. I don't think a drag. I'm tempted by tempt with bread, but <laughs> pick the lock is a bit Skyrim. Yeah, and also he probably just. Do we just try the back chat? Let's try the back chat. Fuck it. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. <laughs> you can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. <laughs> Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. <laughs> Time to work some real magic. <laughs> so this is called a skill challenge. Oh, wow, I was ready for Where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Uh. Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves. Oh, that's that worked out on his side. Sheep and eat cows and shit. No, it means the keys. That no. is a mistake. The dragon oh, can growl, balls. snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. Could make you taller. <laughs> You're short, I say. But I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be way taller. No, no. Please don't do that. Still, I cannot give key. Durgaron will eat me. I think he's close to breaking. Uh, I show him my fist. I call this the Ripper because it's really good for reaching down dragonkin throats and ripping out dragonkin stomachs. The uh, dragonkin cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. <laughs> then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I shoved your skinless body into so I can carry it around wow. with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some cat, cat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? <laughs> uh, wow. wow. <laughs> that was... Nuts. I, I bet the right just had fun with it. <laughs> Plus ten bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine <laughs> collects under the elderly dragonkin as, <laughs> hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yeah. Go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run <sighs> away from oh. you in fear. What's next? Oh, bollocks. Warlord's, Warlord's tent. Yeah. I was hoping they'd help us out it's with the Warlord. Time. 
You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of hmm. the leaders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a so sure. <laughs> cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. <laughs> I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Oh, marvelous. Sturgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. <laughs> Shit. All of my battle spells are fire based. Except for, you know, acid blast. Which someone used nice unnecessarily one. to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? <sighs> I feel like the Annihilation Strike, to be honest, but... At the same time... Yeah, I think so. Or maybe Wrathful Rush. Yeah, do we I'll... need to be quick against him, or do we need to take him out? Uh, the, he's got a two-handed sword, which two-handed things are generally slow, right? Yes, yeah, so maybe Rush. Wrathful Rush. Let's try it. What's Wrathful Rush? It's like a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder nah, slam. Nah, that sucks. Okay, I do that. No, we right. don't do that. You scream with Wrathful Rush. Oh, okay. Caught off guard. Charge. <coughs> Durgaron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. You slam doing his some damage. Him, knocking Ooh. him back and doing some damage. Hell yeah. Next. Then the brutal punch, and then the annihilation strike. I think. All right. It's I on want you. to punch that stupid man cow in the dick. Like, right in the dick. <laughs> right. Does it have a dick? <laughs> dick. This one does. You miss. Durgron oh, bursts out laughing as you stumble past him. Asshole. He gores you in the side with a horn. Eight damage. Ouch. What do you do next? Well, <laughs> a huge amount of uh, choice here. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? Oh, that's bad, right? Yeah, that's bad. Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. <sighs> Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, leg. Plural. Severing oh, brilliant. both feet at the It end. was all going so well. This game is awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've just severed his legs. Yeah. I am so sorry. Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. He's gonna I get told eaten. you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Jump in front of Alan. Um, dance. <laughs> um, Be uh, selfless. Jump in front. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he Ouch. impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet <laughs> off. And we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his arm? We're up high. Uh, swing for his arm and that could take it off and that means he drops you. Or Either he's going to drop us, but then we've still got to kill him, or we swing for his <clears> head. Swing for his head, just go all in. I think we're going to have to, because we're going to die otherwise. Yep. 
I take one last swing at Durg. Durf's his head. Durf face his head. You have to roll high to hit. You're oh dead. God, no pressure. <clears throat> no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing, uh. catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill. We're him. dead. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you oh, off shit. his sword oh, well. with a vicious jerk. <clears throat> you die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Become. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. There's going to be a rematch, though. Isn't Check it? out mm. what I drew. Ah, <coughs> oh, he's got serious drawing skills. He drew a picture of us. Nice. Cool. Did, did that while we were here? Must have done. Wow. Sorry, I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. <laughs> yeah, I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for the game. Nerds. Well, that was more involving than I thought. Yeah, that's a nice little sort of side side piece, isn't it? Check. <clears throat> Next stop, chemistry oh, lab. Oh, now we actually need to go do some work. Yeah. For the amount of time that took, the chemistry lessons probably happened and finished. Probably, yeah. Wow, the camera sort of just randomly moves, even if you don't do anything. Does it? Seems so. Info sheet. Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Okay. All right then. Let's go to class. I think. Can I look over there first, or mm. not bother? Oh, hang on. One of the pictures from late to class. That's just one. Mm -hmm. more one of the graffiti things was to do with drama me. nerds. Right. Maybe it's on stage. Sign. So we might be able to graffiti something. Huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. Really? Can I get up on the stage? I feel like we should try to. Because there's a crate up there. Uh, there we go, there's some steps. Yeah, the camera sort of decides it wants to rotate in a different direction when I don't want it to. Crates, what are we going to do with the crates? Sit on the crates. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Okay. Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell. Swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? <laughs> Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. Okay. I think that's. Any more pondering? No, I think it's gonna loop. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Oh, hello, Principal. What's the face? Wells. That's the one, yeah. Principal Wells. Hey. <laughs> hey, yo. Miss <laughs> Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. Hmm. Back chat option? How about minor infractions? Yeah. <laughs> How many minor infractions in a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Except for like Nathan. Do I have mm -hmm. to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? 
Back chat challenge? We're going to do it, or? Uh, well, that's necessarily a good idea with the principal. But. If we lose, then that could be bad. Do we just say fine on this one? I wonder whether there's like some sort of trophy or something like that for doing all the back chat challenges, though. Should we try it then? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Wells really has it out for me. Shit. I have to convince him. I think this one's gonna be hard. Probably. Back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. I'm not gonna help you. Ah. Yeah, one so chance. So you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. My well is deep. No. Oh, I get it. Ah. Cause your name is Wells, right? <coughs> you go nice. around all day just hoping for an opportunity to make well references. This must be a big moment. For I'm just gonna leave it to you, but you know what you're doing. Ooh. Jokes, in my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. Guilty of rights. How did you become principal without learning the Constitution? The Fourth Amendment, a legal search and seizure? We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. Hey, honesty is the best policy, right? So I guess I should tell the truth. Nice. How did you get the right ones on at the school? To you, to the beacon, to anyone who asks. I'm sure we uh do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price. This is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny. Just a couple years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving Zero any fucks advice. given. Mm. Well, that was a case of, like, you had to get it right, because otherwise you were going to lose. Well, well done for doing that, because I would not have picked <clears throat> those things. I didn't really, I sort of guessed with the last one. I'm officially out of excuses to stay out here. I walk where I want, when I want. Don't forget oh, it again. I can't go that way. <laughs> Including places I can't go Even though I tried walking the behind game. this stage, I was trying to see if I had the option to like graffiti on anything over here. But the answer looks to be I'm guessing no. Not. Okay. There was something to do with drama nerds in the <coughs> journal. I mean, have a look in the journal again. I think it was later on. If you scroll along, R1. Oh. Okay. Never mind. There we go. David's oh, shit. Oh, I probably could have. Oh, we probably could have done. Oh well. oh, well. We'll just see what we find. Exactly. Uh, steps are there. <laughs> <Can't> <laughs> right. Why am I not walking off? Oh, wait, that'd be wider. Because there's an invisible wall stopping me from All right, jumping off. Chloe. Better head in. Chemistry won't bore itself. Let's do this then. What have you got here? Twitch? Don't call me that! It's not Nathan! A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Wow. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Um, you're both losers? Yeah, sounds good. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? <coughs> Back chat. Whoa, whoa. You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Oh. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Who is this? Chloe, Who is this? Something. So that is. Step in. Step in. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. 
What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. Back off. Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What's crazy is that you haven't nice been held done. back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? That's the dog. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. So that's who you are, Samantha. I don't even know who she Guess is. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Right, yeah, so I was about to say. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? Hello. Someone other than David. No problem, Skip. Guessing something happens to you then if uh, David then becomes security. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And that's Samantha <coughs> chick. I wonder if she's important. I wonder if she ends up becoming one of Nathan's, one of Jefferson's mm -hmm. targets. No. <laughs> Can you remember a Samantha folder? Uh, I can't. I can't. I'm trying to move this up and it's not working. Mm, I want to read up. Right, Alan? Yeah, oh, well, you've done it. Never mind. Try again. There we go, it moves now. I don't like how we've left things. We'll talk more tonight. Perfect. Is that sarcastic perfect? No. <laughs> no. Sarcasm? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, right, class. Finally. <laughs> Cool, let's do it. Rachel? Yeah. Oh, good. You're here. Uh, okay. Is she in the Tempest? Because that is some weird shit she's wearing. She is one of the drama students, isn't she? So maybe maybe that's costume. Maybe. Yeah, it's the I drama club. I do beseech club. you. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What? Is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Ouch. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal She's as She's winking at you as well. Mm -hmm. wow, looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. Oh, God. We need a fresh Don't ask me. Uh, right. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or hmm. has she actually just met the love of her life? Oh, the first what do you one. Think? Yeah, I was thinking that as well. Miranda's an idiot. Yeah. Should we just go for that? Yeah. <laughs> Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she? 
12. Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about <laughs> being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Right. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. I feel See like that guys. was a reflection oh, on no. Chloe and I have fresh Rachel's period relationship. With the class mm. full of freshmen now. I don't think I don't see Rachel as the love of Chloe's life, if that makes sense. I'll just be a minute. When you think about it, okay. She's so, so, so why am I here again? Why am I here? Do you know again? what I mean? When you think about oh, it, she was fucking fine. Mm. Mm. And then possibly Jefferson. Mm. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Do you want to go get the belt? Stupid shit, and don't like fall <laughs> down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Where was that belt again? Uh, in the bag, I thought. Have a look. Probably behind. Oh, there. Nice, there it is. Search bag. Rachel looks so happy here. Is it a similar situation, do you think? Or did she lose her dad? Maybe. Don't know. So she comes back. Might why are you be... searching my bag? Why are you looking at my pictures? It might be why she ends Here's up with Rachel's people belt. like um, Frank and Jefferson. Maybe. Right. Yes, I'll go give this to Rachel this now. This is where she's in the other room and completely naked. Was something. she that way? Yeah, she went out that door. Oh, did she? pretty sure, yeah. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the uh, the Tempest. Sweet collar, Pepe. <laughs> Anything else we can interact here? I don't think there is. Oh, well. unless there's a drama dish. Hang on, wait a photo. Times are hard for elite private high schools. Um, if you go back out to the door, there's the drama. The sign outside the door. Maybe you can photo that? No. No. It's not letting me out the door. Okay, never mind. And you didn't get a chance to go there anyway, so. Cool. Okay, let's just go give her the belt. Can I interact with that Tempest poster? I don't think I could, but I'll check it. Ah, pencil jar. Ah, poster. Look. This poster definitely says. <laughs> Quill. Something. Okay, great. Check the computer. Why well, not? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? And Nathan Prescott's in it as well. Okay, so... So that's probably how they came into contact. And then he ended yeah, up... Yeah, and then... ...drugging her. Well, Nathan was sort of helping out Jefferson, wasn't he? Mm. So he'd have brought her into contact with Jefferson, probably. Yeah. And she was doing model type things, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. So... Okay. Juliet, Travis, oh, that's the director dude. Brooks on sound design, of course. Cool. Especially the Prescott Foundation, of course. Uh, the pencil jar. Hey now, sharing is caring. Mm. Yeah, so Nathan sort of, I guess, introduces her to Jefferson at some point. Guessing so, yeah. Wow, the camera stick is so blooming sensitive. Um, I didn't notice anything. No, I found it sort of being a bit more sensitive than I was expecting. So. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this Where's show? Where's she gone? Uh, is she behind the screen? Possibly, no, no. yes. I'm going to do graffiti. Ah, nice one. The poster. Head up for Rachel. Or horns on Nathan. Mm. I feel like head up for Hello. Rachel. Yeah. Save my life. Get some ink. Literally, is that it? Mm -hmm. You've been going I know, it's a sip. in this city. Okay. Look. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> you just gotta turn up the heat. Passive aggressive sticky note, I like it. Yep, standards. And another uh, sticky note over here. What's that gonna say? I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Logan, guess who? Logan, guess who? Aww. <laughs> 
Oh dear. Right, we're gonna go and spy yeah, on her. Let's go in there. Anything else can interact with? No, I think we just go. Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Oh. Throw it over. You think? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're probably gonna twat her, aren't we? If you already selected it. I have, yeah. Oh. Here you go. Ow! Shit. <laughs> I didn't say attack me with it. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. Awkward. <laughs> Slightly awkward. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Firewalk was pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Are you flirting with me? That's deep, or well, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't? Yeah. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Has Rachel Amber gone rogue? Or yeah. fuck yes. <laughs> fuck yes sounds too um, key. Yeah. Okay. Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. Hmm. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, so mm. it begins. I'm intrigued to see where this is going to go now. The junkyard? Ah. Yep. <sighs> you sure you don't want to just grab the bus or. Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Wait, what are you getting into? Oh, look at that. Are they gonna get on the train? Shit! Yep. They're getting on the train. Smooth. Where does this thing go? Who knows? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Why are these train doors the always train open anyway? The view's amazing. Hmm. For story purposes? Yeah. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. See what Elliot Maybe says? These crates. When you, what are you pressing when it does that? Because it should just go straight to that. It's because I was, I left it a bit late, that's why. Oh, okay. What? What happened with Drew? People saying you were awesome. Let's talk later. Okay. Oh, that's the back chat thing. Yeah. Okay, whatever, Elliot. We're sort of busy here with, um, oh, yeah, with our new crates. Hey, where weren't you in camp? Yeah. Everything okay? Yep. <laughs> I yeah. love how like all this sort of stuff just happens. Yeah, well, let's talk later. We've got Rachel Amber to flirt with. Symbols, maybe? Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Swing over there as well. Shipping label. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? Prescott that Foundation. Totally checks out. Okay. Okay. Before we talk to Rachel, should we maybe pause there? I think so. Yeah. Maybe. Um, I'm, I'm sort of interested into where this is going to go, but at the same time, we can leave that for the next segment, right? Because it's all starting to get quite interesting, really. Yeah. Because uh, now we're—I <laughs> wouldn't have expected us to be sat on a train with Rachel right now. No. But uh, happy days. So yeah, join us next time to see uh, where it goes from here and how things develop between these two. So until then, see Bye. ya.